What's up, Lancer Nation? Brayden Bell here along with Coach Brandon Higa of the CBU Women's Volleyball Program and a very exciting weekend for the Lancers volleyball program. It's the CBU UCR tournament, so three games at home this weekend, Friday against New Orleans at 7 p.m., and then Saturday, a doubleheader, SUU, Southern Utah, future WAC opponent at 1 p.m., and then UCR, the Crosstown Showdown at 7 p.m. So, Coach, a lot of excitement um, coming up this weekend. We'll, we'll talk about those games in a moment, but first, let's Let's start with what you've seen from your squad so far in, in the early part of the season. Five newcomers on the roster, but a lot of returnees as well. What have you been impressed with in terms of your roster so far? Well, it's a great mix of new blood and returning players. Um, the new players have come in and done really, really well. The, the gym has been the most competitive that it's ever been. Um, and I think that's a huge step uh, as we make the transition to Division I. Um, we just have a lot of really good players and we are battling for spots every single day uh, in the practice gym. Um, you know, and we've seen that play on matches too, um, but we've had uh, a bunch of new players come in and contribute. Um, they fit in really well with the level here um, and they're gonna keep driving us and pushing us. Um, you know, the what I've been impressed with the most has been um, just the commitment of, uh, of the team to integrate the new players um, to show them what CBU volleyball is all about and to navigate some of the hurdles uh, that we face in, in this COVID era that we are still in. Um, they have stuck together really, really well um, despite all the ups and downs. Um, and the most exciting thing is seeing them train together and push each other. No doubt about it. And the results have certainly been showing so far. I mean, a, a very a very fun squad to watch without a doubt. Yeah. I've been play so far. This is a fun opportunity this weekend because it's the first home tournament um, being hosted in the Division One era. So you're getting those schools in New Orleans, Southern Utah, and then obviously UCR. Um, and, and that's a that's a great opportunity for this program. So as the leader, you know, what does that mean moving forward, having that first tournament in your in your uh, books moving forward? Well, I think it's big and the timing couldn't be better. Students just got back to campus. Um, we're going to be the first athletic event on campus, I think, on Friday night. And to be able to come back and to finally play in front of our fans who are amazing um, and in front of a packed house is something that's really, really exciting. Um, I think being able to host a, our first D1 tournament, I think that's a big deal um, because we want this to be something that we can continue to do moving forward, exposing our fans to, to teams from around the country and to just this higher level of play. Um, but I couldn't be more excited to, to be at home, um, you know, for all the new players that came in and for our players that are sophomores as well. They've never played in front of our home crowd. They don't know what it's like. They don't know the crazies. They don't know what we do when we pack the house. So I, I'm thrilled, so excited for really half the team to get a chance to experience the atmosphere here. So fans at home listening, the players, the coaches are excited. You guys should be excited, too. No excuse not to make it down to Van Dyne this weekend and, and watch this team play. you got three opportunities to do so. Uh, last one for you, and you kind of alluded to this and, and how much it's going to mean to to the players and, and to you guys as coaches, but it's been two years since you've had fans at home, and it's it's genuinely insane what, what that atmosphere will be like, at least assuming it'll be um, just so much so much better to play in, so much more fun. So as a coach, what are you gonna what are you gonna tell the team before they take the floor in front of fans? I mean, how exciting is that gonna be? Well, I think the the thing I tell them is just enjoy this opportunity. You know, it's been such a long time since we've played in front of a home crowd. Um, you know, and th we know that things could all change as well. Um, and so, uh, a lot of what we've learned going through this COVID era is be appreciative and thankful and grateful for all the opportunities that we do have. And to be able to get fans here um, and to play in front of a home crowd, like you said, it hasn't happened in two years. Um, enjoy it, savor it, uh, let it push you to a higher level of play. Um, because at the end of the day, yeah, we play for our teammates and for our families, but we play for our fans and the student body here and the Riverside community. And it's finally, time for us to have a chance to actually have them here so we could feel them and see physically what we are playing for and who we are playing for um yeah 
So have fun, let it push you, uh, let it elevate your play um, and enjoy it. Tell you what, coach, I got hair standing up on my arms right now. <laughs> Fired up. So hopefully, uh, you know, the fans are ready as well. Three opportunities one more time for you guys to, to see the Lancers on the volleyball courts this weekend. Friday night, 7 p.m. against New Orleans. And then Saturday, doubleheader, Southern Utah at 1 p.m. and UCR at 7 p.m. Coach, best of luck this weekend. Go get three wins for us, and we'll talk to you again next week. Thanks, Braden. Appreciate it.